evening. You're watching In Your Interest and I am Shweta Kothari. The death of 26-year-old Evi Pune staffer Anna Sebastian Periel has brought renewed attention to intense work pressures. In a letter addressed to Evi chairman Rajiv Memani, Anna's mother attributed her daughter's death to overwhelming work stress. Now, soon after the letter went viral on social media, the case of EY employee's death became a hot topic. The authorities also launched a probe into what is allegedly an unsafe and exploitative work environment. Now, yesterday, on 23rd of September, the Maharashtra Labor Department inspected the EY Pune office and interviewed executives there. The inspection was done based on directions of the central government. The Union Labor Ministry has sought information from state officials on the tragic death of Anna Sebastian. Union Labor and Employment Minister Mansuk Mandavia said that the ministry is awaiting the report, which is likely to take about 7 to 10 days. The government will act based on the report. Once the report on post-mortem and the police is out, the government will also speak to the company. Now, recently, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman faced flak and was widely criticized for her comments regarding the death of EY employee due to stress, mounting work pressure and sticking to tight deadlines. Now, Sitharaman's advice on managing stress and believing in God went viral on social media and received flak from opposition leaders, calling it victim-blaming and outright cruel. However, after her statement went viral, Sitaraman later posted on X and clarified that her comments about inner strength and spirituality were related to the university's new meditation hall and place of worship where she had gone for an event. Nonetheless, Anna's case has intensified discussions around toxic work culture, which leads to employee burnout facing severe work pressure. The data from International Labour Organization paints a grim picture for women in sectors such as IT, communications and technical professions. The data shows that Indian women in IT as well as journalism roles work for an average of 56.5 hours per week, which is over 11 hours a day in a five-day work week and more than nine hours daily in a six-day work week. Now, not only this, women professionals and technical roles work over 53 0.2 hours in a week. In case of younger women professionals, the situation is far worse. In the IT and media roles, women aged 15 to 24 work an average of 57 hours per week, while young women in technical professions work an average of 55 hours a week, the highest among all age groups.